Alright, welcome back to the second installment of the ATC24 Guide series. At least I think this is the second installment. I don't know, we'll find out when we're editing this. In this bit, we're going to be talking about VFR and how you go about doing that. So, usually when you do VFR, you don't have to file a flight plan, but it's nice if you do. It would be really kind of you to do that. It just makes everyone's life a whole lot easier. It's all up to you. Thank you, Lizer, for that insightful comment. Okay, and with that, let's just jump right into it. So our call sign is going to be our registration, which is going to be November 7 to Mike Alpha. You can do this uh, to kind of, rather than being Firebird uh, 6566, you can, you can have your own registration as your call sign. Uh, in your flight plan, though, it is it would be kind of you to include your in-game call sign just beside it. Uh, just to make the uh, make it clear who you are in the actual game in case there's multiple people doing uh, registration as a call sign. Uh, for VFRs, the standardized squat code is going to be 1200. Zero, zero. I know it's not going to be, it's not that for everything, but just as a standard for ATC24, it is going to be 1200. Zero, zero. So now Beast is going to call in to tower for a VFR clearance. Uh, usually it's nice if you have a flight plan, but you don't have to have a flight plan. And rock for delivery, never have some to Mike Alpha, VFR for circuits. Mm -hmm. November Mike Alpha, cleared for visual circuits, expect runway 18 left for departure, enter left visual circuit, not above 1,000 feet, reports downwind with intentions, squawk 1200. Cleared visual circuits, expect runway 18 left for departure, left visual circuits, uh, at or below 1,000, report downwind with intention, squawk 1200, never send to Mike Alpha. Great news, you just got your first VFR clearance. Once you're onto your downwind, uh, you can contact Tower, so whether you want to exit the traffic pattern and head to a different airport, or you can uh, keep going and then you can request a you know, full stop landing, or you can do a touch and go, that is up to you. But uh, when he gives that bit in the clearance there, you need to tell him what you want to do once you're on the downwind or else you get in big trouble. And you might have noticed that in the clearance he did say November Mike Alpha. Some controllers do this just to shorten your call sign, so he will just take the first letter plus the last two letters or numbers in your uh, registration just to make it a little quicker to say, a little easier on them. Makes everyone's life a little bit more enjoyable. November Mike Alpha, you clear for startup. Clear for engine start number 72 Mike Alpha. November Mike Alpha, ready taxi. November Mike Alpha, taxi to holding point Bravo 7 via Alpha 2, Alpha, Alpha 6, and Bravo. Alpha 2, Alpha, Alpha 6, Bravo, Bravo 7, hold your one eight one eight right number for Mike Alpha. So very nice, we just got our IFR right, clearance and Beast turned off the engine as well, while well, he was trying to press W key, I'm assuming. So, again, similarly to what we did in the last flight, you can... Uh, Right, grab a notepad or something to write down the uh, tax clearance if you can't remember it. November Mike Alpha at Bravo 7, cross 18 right, no delay, taxi Echo 1. At Bravo 7, cross 18 right to Echo 1, and for some to Mike Alpha. So great news, he just gave you a uh, clearance to cross on Bravo 7, no delay. That means you can, once you get to Bravo 7, you don't need to hold and wait. You can just go directly across unless he revokes that at some point and realizes there's a plane on final. But other than that, that's great news. You got to keep going and make your life faster and easier. November Mike Alpha holding Echo 1. November Mike Alpha, runway 18 left, line up and wait. Level 8, runway 18 left, November 7 to Mike Alpha. <laughs> November Mike Alpha, runway 18 left, cleared for takeoff, surface winds 210 at 12 knots. Clear for takeoff, runway 18 left, November Mike Alpha. So things switch up now that you're on a circuit. You don't need to fly runway heading until he tells you to change. You can uh, make a left-hand turn once you're a little bit off or a little bit past. You just need to follow the circuit. So just remember when he gave you your VFR clearance, he did mention at or below 1,000. Keep in mind to watch your altitude to make sure you don't go above 1,000 feet. And over Mike Alpha downwind for runway 1A to left requesting touch and go. November Mike Alpha, runway 1 it left, clear for the touch and go. Surface winds 140 at 15 knots. Clear for the touch and go, runway 1 8 left, November 72 Mike Alpha. Once you finish your touch and go, you can enter back into the circuit, and again, you can contact him on downwind if you want to exit or want to do another touch and go or get a full stop landing. November Mike Alpha, check in. 
Uh, Mike Alpha down when runway one eight left to requesting touch and go. After touching go, you'll be exiting the circuit. November Mike Alpha, extend your downwind for traffic. I'll call your base. Extend downwind for traffic. Call and you'll call base number seven two Mike Alpha. When Tower asks you for a check in, you gotta tell him kind of what you're on in your circuit and kind of what you're what do you want to do. Since it's not always gonna be you contacting him first, maybe he wants to you know get your information before. Or there's like a aircraft on final, someone kind of he wants to prioritize before you. Second bit is that when he tells you to, he will call your base. You just need to maintain your heading on the downwind until he tells you to turn left onto your base. Otherwise, you might kind of run into other traffic, or you could get in the way of someone else landing or taking off. November Mike Alpha, turn base. You're clear for the touch and go. Runway one eight left. Surface winds one one zero at one six knots. Then exit the circuits on crosswind. Turn base and clear for the touch and go. Run the way 180 to left and exit the circuit on crosswind. Confirm some to Mike Alpha. It's the good news. You got your clear turn base, and he also mentioned that since you did want to exit the circuit, he's told you to do it on crosswind. So once you've made your touch and go, you can make your left turn, and then you can just keep flying straight on out into Meller. November Mike Alpha, radar services terminated. Monitor unit on 122.8. Morning, Unicom 122.8, see ya. So, oh. bad news. Rockford Tower just told you that your radar services were terminated, and you're going over to a Unicom, and you're going to monitor the mellow frequency. So in this case, you would check in with the traffic. You would say mellow traffic and whatever your intentions are. More often than not, uh, whoever's controlling Rockford will also be controlling Meller, uh, doing top-down control for everyone. But in this case, just to show you kind of how it is, uh, Meller will be Unicom, and we'll show you kind of what the procedure is for that. And Miller traffic number 72 Mike Alpha 500 feet. Downwind for a runaway 2 niner. Miller traffic easy 10 texting runway 2 niner for departure. So when you're in Unicom, you don't really need to particularly say too much, but you need to listen to other people who are in the frequency and making sure that you're Avoiding them or giving them the space they need and making sure you aren't going to be in a situation where you guys are going to be in a kind of into a conflict and one of you has to go around or one of you has to abort something or another. That's just an unpleasant situation. Yeah, for 72 Mike Alpha, turning base runway 2 niner. Uh, November 72 Mike Alpha, easy 1 zero. confirm you're coming in for 2 niner. Or 72 Mike Alpha, turning final runway 2 niner. Mellow traffic, easy one zero, lining up behind the November. So now once you're on the ground, you should usually declare that you're going to be turning off, and once you've cleared the runway, you should usually just let the guy behind you know, but even though he will see you. And now we're sent to Mike Alpha, vacating runway 2-9 on Charlie 2. Mellow traffic, now we're sent to Mike Alpha, clear runway 2-9. Mellow traffic, easy one zero, departing runway 2-9. So, good news. You've just finished your VFR flight, you haven't gotten in the way of the A320, or got sucked into his engine. Okay, and that concludes the VFR portion of the ATC-24 guide. Uh, we're not shooting this after we recorded it yesterday, because we forgot to do an outro. It couldn't be us. Anyways, hope you guys have a good one. If you have any questions, you can ask people in ATC-24 chat. But otherwise, until the next one. Goodbye, chaps.